not at a bar in Jersey City. She told me that she put together recipes for single people and she had a website for it. So I asked her, oh, what's your favorite recipe? She told me it was Singaporean chili crab. And he said, really? Well, you have to cook that for me one day. And I thought, oh my gosh. I think I said, when can I come over? Oh, when can you come over to try, try it? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Our first official date, we decided to head back to Jersey City and have something to eat. <laughs> mm -hmm. But when we got to my house, it was clear that my cat was sick. Most of the hospitals were closing for the night, so we couldn't take her. So we stayed up all night petting the cat, just, you know, talking to her. And the next morning, we wake up, and she's just lying there. Yeah, and then I, I checked, and I said, yeah, I think she's, she's gone. And I remember I was here with someone I didn't, I didn't know him very well, and he's holding me. I was really devastated because she passed, but I was also kind of embarrassed because here's a guy that I just met. Um, and I also felt really comforted because he was just such a rock. It's kind of funny, you don't think when you first meet somebody that you're gonna know how they handle death or the worst things that could possibly happen to you. And with by the first date, I knew that this is, this is a guy who would be there for me no matter what happened, any of the bad things that happened in life, he would be there. I was. Later that night, he called to check on me to see how I was handling it. And then I said, well, uh, um, I would really like to see you again. He was like, so how about that Singaporean chili crab? Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, I think I owe you this one. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs>